So today I decided to try and get some more temperature into the secondary air. So I've taken the insulating board out and I've replaced it with ceramic glass. I cut the pieces so I can get the exact size to suit the vortex slot. And I also added a few bits of um, vermiculite so to get an exacting 10 millimeter gap. Um, well, I've just lit the fire. Uh, I've got some quite smoky fire lighters this time. I've just got some odd off cuts for my workshop. But what's quite amazing is that um, it produces, it jumps into life straight away, but it produces no smoke right even from the beginning. Um, I, I, if you look up at the chimney now, I mean, this is literally just three or four minutes after I put the flame to the wood, no smoke. So this is a few minutes on, fire's probably been lit for, um, I don't know, four or five minutes. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Guernsey today. I think it's about 12 degrees centigrade. And it's, it's quite nice for a time here. Beautiful blue skies and zero winds. Um, lovely to be outside. Anyhow, you can see that my temperature gauge is registering over 400 degrees. Uh, I'm just shining on the little bit of vermiculite. Uh, I think it should give quite an accurate reading. So what I've done here is I've added some fresh fuel. The fire was still roaring. We've stuck the fresh fuel straight on top of the hot flames. And if anything, the vortex flame has died back a little bit, but it's certainly not over fueling. This is what I've been aiming for. I'm not sure how long the stove has been lit but I decided to poke it around with a big stick. I think it's probably been lit for about um, half an hour or so. See if we can get it to over fuel. So I've really pushed around all the fuel, poked it around a lot, and, and it's amazing how well the vortex is, is behaving. I mean, it hasn't really altered at all. I'm guessing it's all to do with the, the large percentage of um, secondary air and the hot secondary air, but it's virtually impossible to get it to over fuel by poking it around. Um, incidentally, I don't think I can do many more experiments with this particular core because it's been abused so much. I've taken it apart and um, redone it so many times. It really is in lots and lots of small pieces at the moment and uh, not in particularly good shape. <laughs> Still lasting though. So the stove is in full flight at the moment. I mean, it's roaring away. I love that sound. I mean, I've added wood, I've poked it around. There's no smoke coming out of the chimney. So I guess, um, you know, we've achieved our goal in the fact that I can, I've stopped it over fueling um, by increasing the amount of secondary air and now superheating it. I mean, it seems to be running around about the 400 degrees the air, or at least the piece of vermiculite around the vortex slot is 400 degrees. Um, which I think I think it's about 650 Fahrenheit. I'm not really sure, but we'll try one last experiment. I've got a, a, a wet piece of wood. I've got a wet piece of two by four. So we'll stick that in and, and see what happens. Now this really is quite a wet piece of wood. I mean, it's been outside by my plants, so and I've been watering all around it. So not exactly soaking wet, but, but a bit more than damp. And uh, yeah, I mean, those it seems the stone is still going. I mean, it's caught light and there's no smoke coming out the chimney. So I guess even that's quite a success. Overall, I'm quite happy. I think what I've got to do next is um, get some more vermiculite together and uh, build a, a fresh stove. I mean, I've got to get the door fixed on it and uh, sort out adjustable secondary air and just make it look more attractive. And we'll take it from there.